I'd like to say a few words about something that I actually feel very strongly about, and I think many people do, and that's osteoporosis. Believe it or not, we live in one of the best fed nations on earth, and yet when you think about it, one of the least well nourished. Osteoporosis tends to be something that occurs in Western developed countries, and studies have shown that there's a lower incidence if people take more fresh fruit and vegetables in their diet. We need fresh unprocessed foods and the evidence points that way that there's less incidence of osteoporosis amongst people that do take that diet. The common treatment for people who have a tendency for bone density problems and osteoporosis is to take calcium. Well, let me tell you a bit about this. There's merits in taking the right form of calcium in the first place. Most calcium preparations tend to be something called calcium carbonate. That is chalk, and I've never yet seen a recipe that says add chalk. It's notoriously poorly absorbed, and it can also have side issues as well. When you think about it, where should we be getting our calcium from? Think of a cow, it gets it from grass. Think of an elephant, got tusks, huge bones, three sets of teeth in its life, it gets it from leafy green vegetables, and so should we. United States studies show that high calcium taken by itself can actually lead to a higher risk of osteoporotic fracture. And the evidence all points that other nutrients are needed for utilisation. There's a formula called CMB, it stands for calcium, magnesium and boron. And it's designed to provide not just the calcium, but all the nutrients that are helpful for bone formation. I'll go through a number of them and you can see what they do. First of all, magnesium and boron help the absorption and utilisation of calcium. Vitamin D, which everyone's heard of, is essential for the absorption of minerals and the maintenance of bone structure. Vitamin C and folic acid help maintain and replace collagen, but that's the sticky substance that binds cells together. Also, vitamin K is involved in the prevention of bone loss, Vitamin B6 helps regulate oestrogen, which is a factor for the uptake of calcitonin, which locks in calcium. Zinc, iodine, copper, manganese, and also molybdenum also play their part. So it's really a question of not just taking the calcium, but all the things that can properly mobilize it and get it where it should go. The food state form, which CMB is, where all the nutrients are beneficially combined in a base of probiotic, shows excellent absorption, retention and utilisation. It can be taken away from food and it's still recognised by the body as being a food form. So that's the product that I would really recommend and there's a lot of anecdotal evidence that suggests that it's helped a great many people.